The Art and Science of Self-Defense, Lesson 9.3, Control Your Opponents. Lining Up Two Opponents In a multiple opponent situation, you need to control yourself, your area, and your opponents. So, I have multiple opponents. Seth is joining us now on the set, and I have two opponents. They have four hands, four feet between them. I only have two hands, two feet. So they have twice the weaponry that I do. And no matter what I do to try to defend against four fists, I'm not going to be able to defend against all of that. So I can't let them both get their sights on me at the same time. I need to line them up. The first thing that we're going to learn, though, is to just use a single person as an obstacle. So here I have my two aggressors. Well, the first thing that I'm going to do is step in this direction. And now I have Seth between me and Brian. And Brian can move and circle trying to come around. And I see as he's circling, I'm circling. I'm keeping my neutral guard up. I'm checking Seth's punches. I'm watching, of course, for the threat indicators, but I also have to look past him, and I need to watch that other threat. And if Seth goes and he's throwing punches, I need to try to smother them as I'm keeping Brian on the other side. Go ahead, Brian, actively get around this. Good, there you go. He's trying to get around, and I'm just keeping him in the way. Now, we're not attacking yet. Of course, I wouldn't do this for very long. I would be attacking. I would be uh, putting some offense in here. But right now, let's just work on the basic skill of circling to keep an opponent between you and a second threat. If you happen to be trapped between two opponents and you can't use one as an obstacle, we need to get out of this lineup. First, if I, my attention is being attracted by one of the people and I'm looking over my shoulder, that's the only way I'm going to know that this second one is coming. All right, so I have multiple opponents. I need to have my head on a swivel. Whoa, there's a guy behind me. So I turn, changing my orientation. So immediately now, I can see both at the same time. Now I'm going to back up another step. And as I do, they probably are going to start funneling in. And then I start moving laterally to the side. And now you can see, oh, I'm making my escape using this obstacle and this funnel. Now they can't both get at me. Oof, and I can run. So learning to line up two opponents. Gentlemen, if you'll uh, kind of, you know, be a little bit aggressive here. Go, go. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Ah, and you see, right now, I have Seth in between, and Brian's going to have a hard time getting to me. Now, if this happens to be a person, I could potentially use a person as an obstacle. Now, I don't want to use an innocent bystander and have them get hit, but I could duck around this person and moving in this direction. Now, unless they go and hit that person, they're going to have to go around them. So use your environment. Once again, here I am in the middle. The best thing to do, so I'm looking this way. I'm like, whoa, now he's going to come in behind me. I'm not even going to see it. So I need to turn immediately, get my orientation up. And notice I have one hand kind of on each. So if he throws a punch, I'm able to block it a little bit. If this one comes in, I can check that punch as well. But I'm, now I start moving laterally again, lining them up. And now Seth has a harder time getting I stun Brian, and I run away. Learning to get out of the middle between two attackers is an important skill that you're going to need if you ever have to face multiple opponents. Lining up three opponents. So we've discussed lining up two opponents, but what if you're confronted with three opponents? Okay, the same strategies are going to apply. Only now I have three threats. Oh, and they're surrounding me. They're all around. I have to have my head on that swivel. Now, right here, I don't want to go in this direction. Seth and Noah kind of have this whole side blocked up. But if I were to move laterally this way, and perhaps you saw I'd use the uh, ear slap here, uh, clouding his ear, driving air into the oral canal, perhaps rupturing the eardrum, and moving him in the way as an obstacle as I escape perhaps through this doorway, which acts as a funnel so that now they can't all get at me at once. And as soon as one of them sticks their head through this doorway to chase me, I tie your claw it and boom, I'm running this way. 
We're going to get into counterattacking soon enough, but let's still focus on lining up. So these gentlemen have me here. I need to line them up. Now I'm going to move this direction this time because I felt it was best, and now I only have Seth. Oh, and Noah's getting ready. So Noah, take your step forward. He steps in and punches. Now I have Noah in the way, and I'm using him as the obstacle. Brian steps in this way. I shove there. Now I only have Seth. And so learning to circle and line up these opponents so that you're only facing one at a time is going to be your key to success in a multiple opponent scenario. Your homework for lesson 9.3 is to practice lining up opponents. Start with two partners, then work up to three or more. As you train, remember, Move slowly at first. Stay mobile and responsive to your opponent's movements, gradually adding speed and more opponents only as your skills and understanding of the techniques increase.